let's suppose that we were asked to prove that the sum of a rational number with an irrational number, so the sum of a rational number with an irrational number is, is irrational. All right, and let's try to prove this one using contradiction. So our assumption, I'm just gonna write the proof here. Let's suppose for our assumption um, that the sum of a rational number with an irrational number is rational, and then we'll try to arrive at a contradiction. All right, so let's let A be a rational number. Well, I'll just write it out in words. So let's let A be rational and B be irrational. And suppose that the sum, or assume that the sum A plus B is rational. All right, by the definition of rational, then there exist integers, right? So there exist integers. Let's call them um, M, N, R, and S, such that N and S are not equal to zero. And the following must be true. So A is equal to M over N. All right, that's the definition of rational number. You can write it as a ratio of integers for which the denominator is not zero. And then the same thing will be true for a plus b, right? But a plus b will be equal to r over s, where s is not zero. All right, well then let's just add this up, right? So then on one hand, a plus b is equal to m plus n uh, plus b. And on the other hand, we, by our assumption, a plus b is equal to r over s, right? So by just by transitivity here, then, or so, what's got to be true? Well, m over n plus b has to equal r over s, all right? And at this point, we can just rearrange. So we can subtract this term from the other side. So let's just write out what we're doing here. Subtracting m over n, we obtain the following, right? That b is equal to r over s minus m over n, but that's the same as n times r minus m times s over n times s. All right, and what else do we know? <clears throat> well, these numerator and denominator are both integers, so m, sorry, n, r minus m s is an integer and what else is true n times s is an integer and since neither n nor s is zero right neither n nor s is zero then their product is not zero what does that tell us well therefore b is a rational number so then b is rational why is it rational because it's written now as a fraction right a fraction of integers a ratio of integers that obey the definition of a rational number but this is a contradiction, right? B was assumed to be irrational, and we just showed that with our supposition up here, that A plus B is rational, that we arrive at this contradiction that B should be rational. That's a contradiction, right? So this is a contradiction. That's where this symbol comes in. And if this is a contradiction, then what do we, what do we have to, uh, what's our conclusion, right? Well, A and B being rational and irrational is not like, or that's not something crazy that we assumed, right? Our supposition that's wrong then is that A plus B is rational, all right? So we conclude then that A plus B must be irrational. So there's our conclusion. We conclude then that the sum A plus B must be irrational. All right, and so that's how the proof of this one goes. Put a little box and a smile. Everything's good.